what about the outer little world? What, what's going on? There's always something happening there, and uh, it just so happens I came across a couple of uh, things that I'd like to share today. Shocking as it may be, <laughs> I don't know, but I'll, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, first thing I uh, came across today was a new post from Damien on Intune, PowerShell, and Graph API best practices. Uh, we've shared a number of Damien's articles on here, and they often surround those topics. Um, so I would say uh, he definitely knows what he is talking about here. Um, this is a nice blog post that sort of goes through some of the um, basics and how you can get started with uh, finding the uh, graph endpoints that you might want to call when it comes to Intune, as well as, um, if we scroll down a little bit here, uh, graph x-ray, which will also, we've talked about x-ray a little bit on office hours before, and I'm sure many of you are familiar with it, um, but it uh, goes through how we can use x-ray to also determine some of that information uh, and help us write the PowerShell that we need to use in order to actually call graph. Um, and finding the right permissions. This is something that uh, if you've not worked with graph too much uh, yet up to this point, that's something that um, you'll really need to familiarize yourself with. Um, each endpoint is gonna have its own set of permissions. Uh, some of those are gonna be more privileged than you may want. So understanding those privileges and finding which ones you need for a given task is very important. Uh, so highly recommend checking out Damien's blog post here. Uh, this is really great stuff. Well, speaking speaking of graph, uh, you don't know this yet, but I'm I'm telling you now since we're here. Uh, we did put back the uh, PowerShell course for graph up on the academy in quarter four this year on our schedule, and well, you are presenting. So, <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> Excellent. I figured this would be a good opportunity to mention it to you. Perfect. I appreciate it. That was a, uh, I had a lot of fun with that course, and I think it's a very useful one. Uh, though I may be a little bit biased, um, that's great news. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I also came across, for those of you using, uh, let me bring this up here, uh, App Control for Business Policies. Uh, the Intune support team posted a blog post on Monday um, and how to troubleshoot uh, some of the associated resources around uh, using app control for business policies. Um, so these things, I, these types of posts, we generally find very useful um, and another tool in the toolbox uh, for sure. And last but not least, this was recorded a little while ago, um, but our good friend Richard Hicks uh, just had his Run As Radio episode posted last week. Um, so Richard was on the show uh, talking a little bit about Cloud PKI. Um, uh, as I said, we, uh, Johan and I are, are big fans of Richard and his work, so, and the Run As Radio podcast. Um, definitely recommend uh, going and checking this uh, this recording out as well. Uh, it's not too bad. 45 minutes. Um, that's an easy listen, I would say. Especially with these two talking. Um, but yeah, that was uh, it's actually about all I had today. It's a fairly light day, surprisingly. Well, I do stumble across uh, two things. Uh, well, one I obviously knew about because I wrote a blog post about it, but just for the fun of it, um, if I go ahead and share my screen. Uh, here. Uh, I've also note about this old friend. Uh, if we remembered Mark <laughs> at Silverlight, then unfortunately, yes, we do. <laughs> Or at least I do. Uh, oh, yes. I mean, at the time, yeah, it was a cool invention, but uh, I, I cannot honestly say I miss it too much. No, I agree. But, uh, 
it didn't take uh, many times for people to remember that, oh, yeah, right, the early days of Intune were using this. And of course, Config Manager, the old software center, were using components on this as well. That was fun. Uh, so, no, don't miss it. And I do remember it. <laughs> uh, it had its time. That time is past. And here we are. Uh, but the blog post I'm referring to was this one here, because we had a discussion back and forth, some of the office hours here, uh, about using we can get the download store apps. And I don't really remember where we left off last Wednesday, but I know uh, having a wee bit of trouble getting the license down for it. So the command line has actually been in the product for or the store support has been in, in, in WinGet for a, quite a while, uh, months and months and months. But Microsoft couldn't figure out the back end until very, very recently. So I was super excited to try it out this. I tried to download, uh, as you can see here, the, the Windows calculator application. Maybe a little bit hard to read, but I was trying to download that one. And it would just refuse to download uh, the license for it. And then Jason mentioned that probably should be reading the text that is output in the command like good point sir and it does say that um, in order to get the license you need to have admin rights and i'm like okay what admin rights I quite mentioned that specifically but it turned out that you need to have one of these roles in india so fair and square i went into my intune portal I borrowed Amy's account. I often do that for demos. She has a bunch of devices enrolled. It's perfect. <laughs> and after going to her account and making sure she had been assigned uh, that particular or one of those roles, problem went away. And I could download the license just fine. So, long story short, if you actually read <laughs> the command output, then there is the solution. Excellent. Uh, and also, since I should mention that, that Jason Sanders, who helped me, he, he did go in and also updated their original blog post, uh, the one that we shared the other, uh, whatever week that was, it was yeah, July 29. July 29. So it's a while back. So, anywho, anywho, that's what I had in mind at the moment. All right.